So, you did a workout. It was a new kind of workout. You shocked your body with something that you're not very used to. So now you've got an open closet. How embarrassing. So now what do you do? Because you're just terribly sore. Here's something that works really well. You take a nice warm shower. And when you get out of the shower, you stretch very slowly because your body's warm from the shower. You're going to be able to work out that soreness much more easily. That's going to help in the recovery process big time. And then you eat some amazing food. Actually, right after that workout, you eat some amazing food. Something that's more sugar heavy, but not as an isolate. Because remember, if you eat sugar as an isolate, it stifles healing, it stifles recovery. So don't add sugar to anything. <laughs> so what do I mean by something sugar heavy? I don't know, some dates, prunes, figs, an orange, some pineapple, watermelon, you know, natural sources without any added to it. So that's like right after the workout because immediately the maybe about an hour window right after the workout, the body is primed and ready to accept those nutrients much more faster than it would be otherwise. So if you wait too long to have that, you miss out an enormous opportunity. And then a lot of that work is kind of in vain at that point. Makes sense. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Naomi. Hi, Amethyst. Mariah. Helen. Nice to see you all. Oh, wow, this is new. I can wave to you guys from here. <laughs> cool. Anyway, so that's just a couple things that can go a long way. A really good natural sugary, no sugar added, just nap foods with sugar that occurs naturally right after the workout. Because the body is like a sponge for about an hour right after that workout. So if you give the body what it needs during that hour, then the body can do its thing. And remember, you add sugar to anything, sugar stifles healing, it stifles recovery. It also feeds every form of disease known to man too. So just don't add sugar to anything. And then when, uh, you know, later, a few minutes later, sometime that night, take a nice warm shower, warms the body up. And then, hi Susan, hi Melissa. And once the body is warm from the shower, stretch out, work everything out because everything's warm and limber. It's much easier to work out those furnaces and mm -hmm. help the recovery go by much more quickly. Does that make sense, my pretties? I'm sure it does. Susan, Amethyst, Courtney, nice to see you all. Gail, nice to see you. And also just eat amazing food all day long. Like I got my chocolate orgasm right here, my superfoods shake. And then I also eat, you know, regular solid foods too. But I keep a plant-based whole food instead of oil, salt, and sugar, herbs and spices. Game changer, man. Not just for recovery from a workout you haven't done before that shocks your body into a new kind of soreness, but just as a way of eating every day. No oil, no salt, no sugar, herbs and spices, and keep a plant-based whole food. Goes a long way. That's not just good for recovery from a workout where you're sore, but that's also just good for your internal organs, your blood, which feeds all of your one trillion cells and takes the uh, byproduct waste that's been metabolized in those one trillion cells. And it fights every disease known to man and it fights the establishment that just wants you to be sick so that you can be victimized by for-profit insurance and hospitals. So it's good for everything, plant-based whole food diet. And instead of oils, sugars, and salts, herbs and spices, game changer. <laughs> so there you have it. Hey, Andy. Hey, Vicky. Nice to get all these hellos from you people. It's always nice when there's people that don't just sit there like a bump on a log. Like there's people that just watch silent lurkers. It's always nice when somebody is a bit more active and chimes in. So I'll, I'll hang around another minute if anybody wants to chit chat about anything while I'm here. Like it could be anything, like why I play with my hair like I do when I'm on video. <laughs> I've been having pretty chronic lower back pain in the past couple of weeks, no idea why, ER had no idea. Courtney, that sounds extremely frustrating. So the doctor, the ER, doesn't know why. Have you seen a specialist? I, I would look at seeing a specialist I don't know if what I've shared, Courtney, would help you. If it's chronic, it's been going on, the ER doctor has no idea, I would see a specialist. That's what I recommend. 
Hi, Kim. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Maureen. Anybody else have any comments? You want to talk about anything? I don't care. I've been having... Oh, I already read that one. This is my first video of yours I have watched. Oh, cool, Helen. Well, th this is a live feed. I have almost 3,000... 2,700, 2,800. I'm approaching 3,000 videos here soon. Most of them recorded. Live feed. It's sort of a newer thing. Hi, Deanna. And Helen, I hope it doesn't disappoint. For those of you that just chimed in, I pretty much talked about the content of the video already, first thing, so you missed it. But it'll be archived, and you can go back and watch it again, no problem. Courtney says, any thoughts? I'm thinking it's because I'm obese, haven't seen a specialist, been very, whoops, been very weak and achy, but that's my only symptoms. Courtney, you know, losing weight the right way as a byproduct of getting healthy and let, letting weight loss be a symptom of getting healthy and building up your immune system, do it that way. And of course, that's always a good thing for many reasons. And uh, it, who knows, it might be the thing that helps your back out too. I, I don't really know because there's, there's probably something else going on because there's plenty of obese people that don't have back problems. But statistically, there's going to be more obese people that do have back problems, but there's always exceptions. But losing weight the right way with the focus on being building up your immune system and letting it be a byproduct, of course, that's going to help. It'll help with many, many other things too. Aaron, hey, Aaron. You have a private message, Aaron, from me to you. Vicky, I have to thank Tom for so many things because of so many recommendations that he is giving me and taking time out of his day to talk to me about. I no longer have to wear an insulin pump. Damn, Vicky. Uh, Vicky, if it's okay with you, I'm just going to go back up after this and take a screenshot of that with your name on it and post it as a new thing. Who knows? Somebody might see it. That will take some advice and maybe it could help somebody out. So thanks for that, Vicky. That's pretty cool. Kim. Hi, Tom. I'm pulling palettes. My eyelashes are even sore. Oh my God. Your eyelashes are even sore. Damn. <laughs> I don't know what to do about eyelashes, Kim. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Aaron. Oh my God. I walked in on you wide mouth playing the guitar. Awesome. Yeah. It was really completely ir irrelevant to the video. I just picked it up. I'm like, I'll just do this before I start. <laughs> I'm not really playing anything. Sciatic nerve. Marsha. Hi, Marsha. Scrolling. Not disappointed. The thing is, I would enjoy live feeds in which you give cooking tips for one. What I mean is, it is hard to cook healthy for one. Helen. Ditto. I've got over 120 something videos so far just cooking. I will private message me in case I forget. Private message me and ask me for the link and I will send it to you. The tons of videos. I think you'll think you'll enjoy them. Vicky, definitely. Okay, cool. Thank you for that, Vicky. Courtney, yeah. I cut out red meat and all fast food and fried foods and trying to boost my water intake. Very, very good. Those are big steps, man. Way to go. Courtney, private message me and ask me for my get healthy section of my website. There's a lot of ideas in there. I think you might enjoy it. So private message me. Mariah, my friend, I'll be visiting you soon. One week from today. I don't know if the girls are there watching just in case they are. Hey, Scarlett. Hey, Violet. If anybody's wondering who Violet is, Violet is the little girl you see on my back in my cover photo. It's like one of the most adorable pictures you've ever seen in your life. I think it is anyway. So that, that's uh, Violet. I'll be visiting them one week from today. That's pretty awesome. Sue, Kevin, Brenda. Hey, guys. Helen. Okay, will do. Cool. So private message me. And I'll make sure you get those links. Victoria. Hi, Victoria. Brenda, pineapple juice. Courtney, I definitely have to start watching your videos. I will. Cool. Awesome, Courtney. Thanks. What do you think? And are you talking after workout sort of drink? That could be cool. Just add no sugar. Pineapple juice has already got so much sugar to begin with. I would actually, instead of pineapple juice, I would just eat whole pineapple, get the fibers with it, because pineapple, pineapple juice is really sugar heavy. Even if you don't add sugar to it, it's got such a huge concentration of it. So I never juice pineapple for that reason, not even as a 
recovery. I don't use beets, I don't use carrots, and I don't use pineapple, especially beets and carrots for that matter, because the sugar concentration is just too much. Those are much better to eat whole. It's like pineapple, much better to eat whole. Oh, here's another thing about pineapple. If you have a really good blender like a Vitamix, you can pulverize the core. We typically throw the pineapple core away, but the core of the pineapple has got far less sugar and far more nutrients. There's a particular nutrient called bromelain, which is relevant to the topic of this video. It's a natural pain reliever. So if you pulverize the core of a pineapple in your smoothies, that could help relieve you know, uh, pain from associated with the soreness from a workout that you did that shocked your body from doing something that you weren't used to doing. But you need a really kick-ass blender to do that. And most blenders are not gonna pulverize the core of a pineapple. In fact, I got myself a vitamin or a Vitamix um, largely for the medicinal purposes. You can pulverize avocado pits and pineapple cores and seeds from different berries. It's pretty cool. I definitely have uh, so my cousin Bonnie. Highly, oh, cool. I remember Bonnie. How's she doing? I have not um, seen her in a while, Courtney. I will have to look her up and say hello. It's an old familiar name, so that's pretty cool. Brenda Adams. Hey, Brenda, nice to see you here. Well, that was some pretty lively conversation back and forth we had just now, friends. I appreciate that. I'll play another chord just for that. <laughs> the guitar is out of tune, it's true. So I'll do this chord instead. <laughs> Very out of tune. I'll put this down for now. By the way, I haven't played at all in months and months. It's been a long time. I should get on that. Hi, Angela. Hi, Vicky. So if there is nothing else, thank you so much for the lively back and forth. That was awesome. It keeps me on here longer, that's for sure. But if there's nothing else, I'm going to turn this off. Hello, Paulette. Nice to see you. And for those of you that missed it, I pretty much went over the contents of this video in relationship to the title of the video at the first part of it. So that's long gone. You missed it, but uh, it'll be archived. You can go back and watch it. No big deal. Right. Right. Well. Mm -hmm. See you later, everyone. And don't hesitate to private message me if you want any of those things I talked about. I might scroll up through the comments later and comment with those various links to people that ask for various stuff. So we'll see. But if you want to private message me about your goals, if you got some health goals, feel free. Maybe I have something I can connect you to. Bye for now.